What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Metal DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my favorite plays for today. We got a two game main slate for round two, y'all. Hope everybody's having a great day. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it, y'all. Give you my favorite plays. Sorry I haven't given you videos, y'all. I've been really busy. If you didn't know, my wife is pregnant. We have another daughter, so she's due around August. So I've just been at home getting everything situated. Thank you for all my subscribers. Just staying with me y'all so i appreciate the love let's get into these plays going to our first spot going to our point guards now donovan mitchell it's hard not to play him here now mike conley is still out he's 8900 on DraftKings, 95 on fandle still a great play overall he had 62 57 in the past two games y'all he's projected a 51.5 projection play 5.8 value spot great play to target in your lines here while well, conley he gets the usage he had a 43 percent usage last game game against the Clippers going back here for Donovan Mitchell once again all right now you want savings play Mike James is a great saving spot here he's only 3800 on DraftKings he has 48 on Fandle but love the DraftKings price at 3800 giving you at least seven times value he had 21 26 in the past two games without Harden so love this play you want to pay down out of 3k range Mike James is a great spot to target all right, let's go to our next play, going to our shooting guards. If you want to pay up, we do have Paul George at 8,500. He has 92 on FanDuel, but overall, still a great spot here. Now, he did have a 38 last go around. Hopefully, get this game close to where this guy can give you that 50-plus upside. He has projected a 46.5 projection. We have a lot of value in this slate to where you could target guys like Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, even have a Donovan Mitchell in your lines for today. So, Paul George is my next spot here at the shooting guard spot for today. All right, let's go to our next play. Going to our small forwards. I'm going to go for a saving spot. We have Bruce Brown. He's just been real consistent when Harden is not playing. So as you can see, he's only 4,200 on DraftKings. He is 5,900 on Vandal. He's projected a 27.3 projection play. He had 27 fantasy points in game one against Milwaukee. So looking at a 233 implied total. So a guy that's 4,200 on DraftKings to me is really intriguing in this play to give you value at 4,200 on DraftKings. Now another play also I like John Bonanovich. He's also a great play even though He's 59 on DraftKings. He's still a great play on Fandle at 5,400. This guy shows consistency without Conley. He does get the usage bump as well. He did have 18% usage last go around without Conley in game one against the Clippers. And he had 29 phase points. So he had 29, 37 in the last two games to where in this play, he could give you that 30 plus phase point game. He has projected 28 phase points. So like the spot for Bojan Bananovic in this play at small forward for today let's go to our next spot going to our power forwards look at Blake Griffin he also has been dominant all right now without Harden the usage goes elsewhere so without Jeff Green in the mix Blake Griffin will show upside he did have a 23 last go around but he did have a 46 fantasy point game so something to look at in which he's in a good position against the Bucks and against their front court so I like this spot for Blake Griffin at 4800 on DraftKings even on FanDuel at 55 I think it's a great play overall for value on both platforms he has projected a 27.3 projection play but this guy is getting the minutes and he's also in a great spot here so Blake Griffin great play to look at at power forward even center eligible another spot also to look at is Nicholas Batum is 4400 on DraftKings 5600 on FanDuel but also another good spot here 20 minutes last go around but keep this game close here he should be in a great viable spot he has projected 26.3 projection play with a six times value so if you get a play where it's a good spot on DraftKings. Nicholas Batum, he more likely going to be low on as well. So I like this play for GPPs. Nicholas Batum in a great spot for today. All right, let's go to our last play, going to our centers. All right, center play. We're talking about Blake Griffin. I do like a Vic of Dubak. All right, 3,600 to me is too cheap. All right, they definitely need him in the front court against Utah. 29 fantasy points last go around with 20 minutes on the court, y'all. So I like this play for Zubak for value at the center position. Of course, we talked about other spots where you could go elsewhere at center. So these are my favorite plays for today. If you like the plays, give a thumbs up. Any questions, comment below. Using Draft Dashboard Tools in the link in my description. If you want access, click the link. It's only a dollar up to 30 days. Once you sign up, get access to the NBA cheat sheet, your sleepers, and does click on the watch players you get access to my player pool up top for watch mail dfs picks for either DraftKings or FanDuel. free dfs
DFS contest for all our members up to $500 a month. All right, as you can see, contest due in June 30th. First place winner with a top score gets $100. Second place, $50. Third place, $25. This is a friendly contest and it's free for all our members. So definitely check in, click the link in the description to sign up. Love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Metal DFS and y'all say bless. And I'll see y'all in the next video.